a, a cleaner deficit so the building reeks, the garbage is accumulating in the stairwells and the hallways and in the garbage chutes themselves. Uh, sometimes you can't even access the garbage chute because there's so much bag, so many bags of garbage stuffed into the actual garbage chute room itself. You can't even open the door. Um, and typically on a good day, there's maybe um, a urine stain or two in any given stairwell, and now there are several. These are dogs that don't make it out the doors in time, so they'll urinate in the stairwell. So it's just, it's really grubby and smelly, and I mean, on the best of days, it's not a beautiful building, inside or out, and now it's just squalor. Um, and about a year and a half ago, the man management company issued what they call a security key. And it's a special key that can't be duplicated, and it's $40 per key. So, but it has achieved the opposite of pro providing security. So now, because people can't afford the $40 for a, a key that they can't duplicate, they can't go to the mom and pa shop on the corner to buy a key, so now they don't have a key, so they'll stand in the front lobby waiting for somebody to unlock the door somebody with a key. So say I come home at maybe 9 o'clock at night, it's dark, and there are four or five people in the vestibule waiting to be let in to the building because they don't have that $40 security key. It's very intimidating, and to me it's just, it's dangerous, especially if you're a single female or a single male. So in, on December 18th, the toilet upstairs flooded. So eventually plaster started falling and peeling and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was December 18th. I submitted a work order on the phone on the 20th. So now we're March and he did the plastering. So now he has to come back in and paint. 